Hello everybody and welcome to the video. In previous videos I covered a lot of content around the mod Lightmatica, be it the hotkey usage um, to do quick selections via shrink and grow hotkeys to use the normal mode selection versus the simple mode selection. And in this video I'm going to kind of put those ideas into practice to show, you know, I start to finish uh, kind of, I'm going to skip over some parts to make the video shorter, but overall the entire process of what would happen if I take this group of buildings here, let's call it a village, and we will go ahead and start making selections around all of this. So let's get started. We will go into the browser. We'll create a new one. I'm going to call it village like I've already done here once before, as you can see, and it named it village one. And that's going to give me my first selection and we're going to go over here and we're going to select our secondary point and you can see the box is slightly larger than the build we use the hot key to shrink it around the build itself well what if we wanted to do this a little bit faster than that what we can do is remove the ground around underneath of all of these builds replace them all with air now I'll come over here and let's do this one because it has some floating blocks away from it. And we'll go into the area editor, give it a new subregion. We'll call this town hall. Then we'll take the tool and we'll make two selection points, one including that so that it will encompass the entire thing. And then we'll use the hotkey setup for the grow or expand and then we can make an entire selection around all of that we can come over here to another building we can go in here give a new subregion give it a name doesn't matter what it is da, da, boop, and done all the noises we'll even give it a point of origin which i like to do it in the very little words around about the middle of this so we'll turn this on uh, I always click on move to player just to make sure that it actually moves because I do schematics routinely multiple times in worlds. And then when we're all said and done, what we would want to accomplish is this. We would have the entire selection. Now I do a selection around everything. Um, it's just a personal thing for me. You do not need to do so. So let's go ahead into another world and see what we can actually do a little bit further down the line. I'm not going to give any new information. I will go ahead and change the game rule for advancing the day so that I don't have to deal with mobs. So I'll turn that off and um, update fire. We'll go ahead and turn off as well. That way, if I'm anywhere near a lava pool, it doesn't start burning the forest down if there's one. And I'm just going to, I want cheats on so that I can try to locate an ideal location. I actually don't need to. This is perfect. So what we can do is I'm going to load in that schematic that I was showcasing in the previous section of the video. And now I can start manipulating. I need to give myself a tool. already got the text copied into the clipboard so now I have the tool and I can start manipulating the location of each of these individual structures to do that we just go into the configure and then we would click on one so I want to move this large structure here I have it named as in and I just need it lower down on the ground and it's always going to move to the north on the northwest corner so if I bring up my mini map here I can see that this is the northwest corner, so it's going to be this block right here. And I want to drop this down so that I would have a minimal amount of terraforming required to put this in location. So let's do that. There we go. And I would have to build the land up to it. Now let's go ahead and start moving some of these other structures. Let's do the first house here. And I need to find a proper place to put it. It actually is not that bad off, honestly. This cave hole right there, kind of right there. Let's see what... Da, da, da. 
I don't want to do a lot of terraforming, obviously. So I'm just going to come up here and move it up this far. That way it'll have more of a bunch of blocks to actually sit on. Let's move it further back. And then I would have less blocks to actually dig out and mine to accommodate the new location of the structure. I need to turn off the original build so that I'm not seeing ghost images of the previous. And we will go ahead and click on the next house to give it a new home. Just come over here. And I want it to land where I don't have a lot of terraforming. So let's try that. That's not too bad. And we can actually rotate these so that they're facing in a different direction. To do that, you just go into the config, config. And if I wanted to rotate that one, I would click on the config menu here. Click on rotate. I'm not going to do that here in this regard. And let's... Go ahead and manipulate this larger structure here. Where do we want to put it? Hmm. I'm going to put it back over here in the corner. Too tall grass. I hate it. Okay. Right here will work. And I know that I have it named as Town Hall. So I'll just click there, and now it has been moved. I will have to dig out some to accommodate the full build itself. And then what else do we have? I think there was a smaller house that was floating down here. Not really floating, but it's not... Yeah, it is kind of floating. We'll just move it up here on the hill just a little bit. Click right there, and now the build is moved up here into place. And I would have a little bit of terraforming to build the land up to it. I can actually lower it down. We can do that simply by going in here, click on configure, and we'll just drop it down. That'll mean that I only have to dig out blocks in behind it to fit it fully. And there you go. So ideally, this makes it a lot more powerful a scenario. And I forgot to move this house. I'm just going to drop it down right where it sits. Okay, there we go. Still kind of floating. Again, you can tweak it easily enough. Go in here, configure, and just drop it down by one. And now we have everything in place. We are ready to start collecting resources to go ahead and build it. And what I like to do is actually turn off everything but the one that I want to build. And I'm going to use the smallest one here, which is this one. So I'm going to turn off everything else. And we go into the material list and you can see it is just a small number of blocks for the one tiny structure. If I had uh, everything turned on, so you go out of here and if I had it all turned on, go to the material list. You can see there are 1500 plus of the strip dark oak. You get the idea there. So in order to make it a lot more impactful on my inventory, I can turn everything off. But the one that I want to build, go into the material list, click on refresh, and then I can see, OK, I need to have all of these blocks ready. And this will actually fit in my inventory. I can use that and I can build that tiny little house right there. Once it's constructed, then I can move on to the next one and you can turn them on and off at will. That is the whole premise behind being able to do the normal mode selection versus the simple mode selection. In simple mode, I would actually have to manipulate the location of the full schematic uh, if I had it selected around all of these builds, build one of those structures, and then move the entire thing again and build an, another one of those structures, move the entire thing again, build another one. of. You get the idea. Well, I do thank you for watching the video to the end, and you have a great day. Thank you.